Greetings from the Ticket and Transportation Center. It is currently September 21st. We are getting very close to the 50th anniversary here at the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World. So we're gonna head into the park, we'll get an update. I think they just released some 50th anniversary merchandise. We'll see if there's any left and see what we can get into inside the Magic Kingdom. Let's go. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hit the like button, also subscribe if you are new. The General Joe Potter has arrived. Let's get on board and take the boat over to the park. We made it to the entrance of the park. They have this brand new topiary display along with a cake. Do you think that's a reference to the 25th anniversary when they made all of Cinderella Castle look like a giant birthday cake? The train station is in full display. It is not in use. You can't actually go on the train right now, hopefully sometime during the 50th anniversary. And of course, right in front of the park, you have the world's most magical celebration, a whole new display right in front of the train station. The fall decorations seem to be next level compared to last year. A lot of new pumpkins, a lot of bunting already up. Even though it's not even October yet, I think Magic Kingdom is in full Halloween mode. There's the castle ready for the 50th celebration. And right inside this door is the all new 50th merchandise. There is a pretty good amount of it. Thank you very much. But I'm not sure how long it's gonna last. Here are the highly anticipated soap dispensers. So when you push that down, the soap is in the shape of a Mickey head. It's almost like a hidden Mickey with soap. There's the Pluto. With the amount of hype for all this stuff combined with the pandemic, there's probably gonna be far less merchandise than normal. So because of that, it might be a little bit rare. If you do want any of the 50th anniversary stuff, I definitely advise you come and get it if you can. Or just try to get it from one of the many eBay scalpers. who are probably charging double. There's a nice shirt right here, long sleeve. Looks like there might be some other shirts behind this one. Look at that. Mickey with the 50th outfit on, looking very nice. Now with my luck, I think I'd drop a hot dog from Casey's and get ketchup on the white t-shirt. So I'm gonna try to avoid getting white. Look at that. Now that is fancy. Close up view of Mickey. Here's the new hat. Mickey with the bow tie. Looks like hoodies in kid sizes. I did pick this one up for myself. It's a nice design. There was only one large left, so I was lucky enough to grab one. Looks like they also have some sort of postcard here. Okay. It's a nice looking postcard. I don't think I would send it to anybody. I'd probably keep that one for myself. Here's a potato chips clip. Wow, a 50th anniversary magnetic clip. They thought of everything. Here are the new Magic Band designs. Now this one is limited release with Mickey. They have another one here. It looks like it has the monorail, different modes of transportation, and then even a pink one, also limited release with Minnie. There's so much to show off. Right here, there's a luminescent pink jacket. Now I did notice some of these ears are not in the best condition, so you might want to take a close look just make sure there's no extra glue or excess strings coming out of there just to make sure you get a good one wow is it impossible to show off everything they have in here so here's some other ears these ones are white and gold i think there's a usb cord that comes with this so they must light up it is a madhouse in here right now this is actually the second day that it's all available the funny part is that the 50th anniversary is not even here yet. So you have all out craziness. I noticed they did get some of these shirts back in stock. They're kind of hard to come by. A lot of people really want one, but unfortunately they do not have one in my size. Here's some more on this wall. No larges, of course. Look at this shirt. Now that's a Nike. So you know that one's gonna be quite pricey. Oh yeah, $75, which is actually a pretty good deal, especially because it's dry fit. I find it awfully rare to find dry fit shirts here in Disney World. Here's a close look at the jacket and track pants combo. That is very nice. And they have a 1,000 piece puzzle with the partner statue. Here's one more display that I wanted to show off. You can find a pink 50th anniversary shirt. There's some more of the white ears. And there you have it. 
It is crazy in there. I'm sure there'll be more stuff coming, but for now, I'm gonna take what I got and run. It is a beautiful night here in the Magic Kingdom. The weather is perfect. Now the park is only open until 8.30 with the Halloween party starting soon. It's almost seven. Oh, there's the Dumbo statue. I haven't seen that one yet. So let's see what we can get done before we have to leave for the night. We'll first head into Tomorrowland. Now on the purple wall, that is where you can find the Stitch statue. It just shows you, you never know where you're gonna find them. Some of them have a pedestal. You know, they're in some foliage looking really good for everybody. Other ones are gonna be far more hidden and in some iconic locations like the purple wall. Here's a closer look at Stitch the Alien. He's actually much bigger than I thought he would be. Underneath the fake palm trees, you can find the Joffrey's Revive. If you are a fan of Joffrey's, I do recommend this one that you can find here in Tomorrowland, where you can find the Mission to S'mores flavored latte. Basically, it's like s'mores with marshmallows, graham crackers. It's very good. Apparently they have a frozen mission of s'mores now. I can't wait to try it. This looks good. They've also replaced the paper straws with some sort of sugar straw, which is much better. I don't know about you, but I hated those paper straws. It was like drinking through a pencil. Now that I got a coffee, and it is very good, I'm gonna actually cross the park over to Adventureland. Have you guys ever had that craving to go on a certain attraction? That's what I have right now. I have the craving to go on Pirates of the Caribbean. It's been a while for me. I'll meet you guys there. Look at that, they have a skull light, which is on the clock tower here at Pirates of the Caribbean. I've not seen that before, so I'm not sure if it's something that's just on for the Halloween party or if they turn it on every night. We're going in and it's only a 10 minute wait. That is nothing for one of the best attractions in all of Disney World. You probably found a hidden Mickey, but right here, this makes up a hidden skull, but you do have to see it at the right angle. You also probably remember when this used to be a mermaid scene, it was the skeleton of a mermaid. For some reason, they took it out. The creepy scene right before the pitfall. Frontier land. Let's see how long the wait is for Big Thunder Mountain. So most of the attractions still are a walk-on. Big Thunder Mountain only a 15 minute wait. Let's hop on. Are people just waiting for the 50th anniversary to visit the parks? Because right now, most of the rides you can just walk on and it's been that way for the last few weeks. So will it change come October 1st? Or is there something else going on? Are less people coming to Disney World? Remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train, and be sure to watch your kids. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, because this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness.
Look at the haunted mansion from here. It's all lit up for the Halloween party. We have to get a closer look. In fact, maybe we still have time to jump on. We're of course right here next to the hot spring outside of Thunder Mountain. It was a great ride, but we have a long ways to walk. If you go to the Halloween party, you have to go on the Haunted Mansion. Pretty soon they'll have scare actors out here. It's gonna be amazing. But with the park about to close, I still have my opportunity to hop on. It's even a full moon above us right now. We'll see if the ride is extra spooky. The greens are all lit up. I've never seen them like this before. They look better than ever. starting soon. Space Mountain is already colored for the occasion. I don't know if you can see that back there, but it's got red, purple, and green. You gotta love how Space Mountain changes colors here at the Magic Kingdom. Now that was a great ride on the Haunted Mansion, but with the fireworks about to start, I'm gonna head out. I'll meet you guys back at the Ticket and Transportation Center. What are you, a hero or a villain? I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. We'd love to have you as part of the Moonlit Parks family. We have some special things upcoming. Also hit the like button, it really helps out. So until next time, from the Magic Kingdom and the TTNC, see you next time.